Cool! Did everyone catch Marvel.com? Because nothing makes me more excited. On today's video, beginning my update of the Xbox Rewards app on console. New weekly streaks, playtime requirements, and more. Thank you, buddy, so much for joining me. I want to ask you a quick favor. You like this? This is where I go over ways you can make extra money inside by doing things like playing games on your console, PC, and more. Please give this video a like because it will get it out in front of more people so they can take advantage of the information. And of course, it does help us out with the good old YouTube algorithm. So thank you so very much. Now, the new Xbox Rewards app is upon us. Yes, it's been a drastic shift. The old Xbox Rewards app, which you can see right there on the screen, I left it up there for posterity purposes. I don't even think you can download it anymore. Uh, but that app has now been replaced by the new Xbox Rewards dashboard. So. On the, app, on the console itself, I wanted to just go over how you can get to that. So what you want to do is you want to uh, scroll all the way to the top left where your uh, profile picture is. Select it, hit the A button, and then from there, select C profile. And then you will be able to go to the dashboard which shows the new Xbox Rewards beta. Well, <laughs> This thing is in beta, I suppose. The, the program itself has been you know, on for more than a decade, but the this is where it replaced the old Xbox uh, Microsoft Rewards app on console. So as I mentioned in the beginning of the video, yes, unfortunately, the weekly streaks are gone. So where you can go on there and do your, you know, your three, your check-ins. And if you do it every week, yes, you get up on, as far as your streak, you can get quite a few points, uh, especially if you got to 10 weeks and over 10 weeks straight so unfortunately that has been removed so i guess the only advantage is i don't have to worry about opening the app that many days but it just being gone doesn't leave a, a hole as far as earnings are concerned because now we don't have the, that availability of points so what we have now is the weekly console bonus so this is not a streak it's just a weekly bonus so to get this one you have to play five days uh, and that way you will get 250 points base plus 25 extra if you are an Xbox Game Pass Ultimate subscriber. Uh, now this does not, uh, it's not affected by any other uh, playtime uh, requirements on the other uh, bonuses, which I'll go over in a little bit. So for this, you literally just have to turn on your console, start a game, and this doesn't have to be a Game Pass game, by the way, it can be any game. So you put up your console, you start up a game, and this should update and you have to make sure you do it before midnight monday or basically sunday night you have to have the five days in by sunday so monday through sunday you have to load up a game five times there's no playtime requirement meaning you're not you don't have to spend an x amount of minutes playing the game you just have to start and load it up and then you have to come here this is the important part you have to come back to the app and claim it before the next Monday, or you can also do it on the app on your mobile device. If you do the five days, but you forget to claim it, it will disappear. If it go, once it goes into the next week on Monday at midnight, that is gone. So you wanna make sure that you claim your 250 or 275 points before that happens. Now I mentioned playtime requirement because this just got added. <laughs> and this is probably because of you know, people like me, whatever, that I do this and I've been, uh, suggest or giving guides on, on the most efficient way of making as many points because realistically as of your commented on my last video it is becoming more difficult to get the points that we were used to in the past microsoft is not being as realistically as creative as they were before as far as point payouts and what to do to get those points but i can understand that technically they want to push whatever the narrative or their uh, metrics that they care about are at the time so with that being said, now these uh, fun, fun activities, wherever you play, ha ha ha, these were the previous bonuses that included the playing the game on PC for quite a few points, playing Jewel on your mobile device, and using the Xbox uh, device on mobile. So now the big change is, well, like I mentioned in my last video, unfortunately the bonuses bonuses are now gone so you don't get over 100 for playing a PC game or almost 100 for playing Jewel on the mobile app, so I just fully suggest uh, you don't even play the mobile app. That's not worth your time. But for the uh, PC game, and now for the console game as well, you must play a game, and you have to play it for 15 minutes. This doesn't have to be active. I tested it. I uh, just started off uh, Turnip Boy Robs the Bank yesterday. I let it run for about 15, 16 minutes, and then I just closed it, and, it, and I was able to open up the app, and I was able to redeem my 20 points. 
Same thing with console, but this requirement does not translate into your weekly console bonus. For this, any playtime qualifies. This is just to get the extra 10 points or 20 points per day. This also does not affect your quest. So the quest now is not as good as it used to be. There's less variety of it. The main thing, and sorry for the screen size, is this guy right here, your quest completionist. This is your, you know, your, your bread and butter as far as how much you can get per month. And this is the one you want to shoot for. So as you can see right here, it says complete 36 daily quests this month to earn rewards points. This is off of, I can tell this is off a, a four week uh, period. So, you know, it goes by, it's either four weeks or five weeks, depending on the month. So the daily quest now is just two kinds of daily quests. It's playing a game, and that has also no playtime requirements. So as soon as you boot up the game, and that's either PC or console, you'll get the points for that. You, all you have to do is redeem them on the actual uh, app itself or on the console. Uh, if you have to find a way of doing it on PC. Uh, the weekly quest is getting the three achievements or playing the three games. Those are pretty, pretty easy. I'm sorry, getting so many daily quests, five daily quests, or getting or playing three different games, so that's pretty simple. The thing is hard is the second available daily quest is earning an achievement on an Xbox Game Pass game. So uh, those are sorry, on, an Xbox, on any Xbox game. So that depending on what you're doing, like for example, I'm playing Persona 3 Reload. So that means that in this week for in this month, for example, if I loaded up a game every single day without missing anything, I get 28 dailies. I need to earn an achievement on at least eight of those days. And that's if I don't miss any days. So this is a bit more difficult to get now than it used to be. And again, these daily quests to get these thousand points are not affected by these playtime requirements. You can literally launch a game for a minute or two on your console every single day, the 28 days, and then just to make sure you get an achievement on eight of those days. So the main change again is the old Xbox Rewards app, which again, you see the logo there is now gone, replaced by the Rewards Beta dashboard and right next to your Welcome Social and Gaming on your profile page on your on your Xbox uh, Series or Xbox One console. Uh, and now you have this weekly console bonus, which technically pretty easy to get, but it does require you to boot up your console at least five days every week again. And this goes Monday through Sunday. You have to redeem before uh, midnight of the following Monday. And then you now you have these playtime requirements to get the extra 10 or 20 points. Honestly, unless this is going to be done organically, you should consider this a bonus. It's not really like, I don't think the point value uh, makes it worth your time to actually have to start up your console or a PC game or whatever, unless you're just going to be multitasking or something like that. For you to put in the extra work to make sure you get the 15 minutes. Uh, right, the main uh, drivers, I think, as far as the actual Xbox rewards, now that the weekly streaks are gone, is booting up your console, getting some play time so you can get this 250 or 275 every week, and then getting your daily quest, which is now unfortunately just three points, uh, and getting an achievement at least a few times so that way you can make sure you get your quest completionist every month to get that thousand. So you get a thousand for your quest completionist, you get that's assumed 250 per week for the weekly console bonus, that's another thousand, so that's 2,000 extra points. Uh, again, it's a far cry from what it used to be, but if you put in the time, you should still be able to get Xbox Game Pass Ultimate for free in perpetuity. It doesn't require some more planning and you definitely cannot miss your main point earners, which is your search on PC and your search on a mobile device. You have to make sure you hit those, otherwise it's gonna be hard for you to get this for free in perpetuity. But as I said, guys, unfortunately, yes, it is a bad uh, change as far as point earnings. Technically, it is a good change as far as how easy it is to earn organically. So remember, you have to sign up for Microsoft Rewards first and then uh, go on your Xbox console and you should be able to link it uh, through your profile like you see right here. Uh, but uh, yeah, the overall point value earning possibilities decreased. Ease of earning as far as organic play and not intentional, technically a little bit easier. So hopefully that means a, a lot more of you will be able to take advantage of the program and get enough uh, points to earn maybe a few gift cards or again, like I say, the best value. Xbox Game Pass Ultimate, the Microsoft Rewards, free perpetuity. But that is it, guys. Uh, if you want more details on the full guide as far as how to get Xbox Game Pass Ultimate free perpetuity, I will uh, link the most recent guide I did this year as the pinned comment on this video. Technically, the only thing that has changed is the Xbox uh, Rewards piece of things, which 
you get that information from this video right here. That's it, guys. So much, thank you much, much, so much for joining me. Uh, next week, I should be having another a video on our one play series or one bet series, I should say. Uh, the week after that, I'm not so sure it might be another update on Richie Gaines because I am still earning a lot. I'm actually earning close to about 10 bucks a day on that one. So maybe I'll do point uh, tips and tricks on that. An update from the Playtime app. Guys, uh, they haven't hit me back. Uh, I haven't gotten a response from them, and either the place to order through email. I've had a few commenters say they have been getting payouts from them. Or like I got one commenter saying, "Do I add to the, this point?" It's two people, so and they're still showing ads. So that's an ongoing saga. I'm not sure when I'll make an update just specifically on that, but I just wanted to give you guys an update on that as well. Okay, thank you everybody. Thank you everybody so much for joining me. And of course, if you like what you've been seeing, please make sure you give it a little visit. Do the like, share, and subscribe buttons down below. If you any questions, tips, comments, post them in the comments. Like, here I go to play some games, make some money, spend some money, save some money, look at boned. Get boning.